Was it extremely awkward filming this love scene, the love scene in the movie? Were you guys laughing a lot throughout? It was super serious. Yeah, me too. Intense. It was so intense. Powerful. <laughs> Powerful. <laughs> um, um, no, it was it, not to give anything away, but... <laughs> what can you give away from it? How it's shot. Oh. There were so many little bits um, in addition to just sort of the general scene that you play out right. that were uh, absurd. <laughs> when you isolate those bits <clears throat> and then it's like just with everyone even working with you so long and and it's also not real, it's not just human sex, it's, it's, it's like this, he, you know, yeah. obviously blown a little bit out of proportion. Slightly. Yeah, slightly. It's kind of like the most important scene in the movie, it's so weird. Is but um. Is, is, it, is it more or less awkward for you guys and the crew, considering you guys obviously know each other pretty well by now? So, I mean, it's not like you're, like, in the scene doing this intimate stuff with a stranger. Does it affect it at all, that the fact that you guys know each other as well as you do? I mean, like, you end up just, well, I ended up just thinking about purely about vanity things. I mean, that's... I was just really subconscious. Yeah, yeah but, exactly. I mean, that's it. Like, you're not, not thinking about anything. the whole time. God, now it sounds awful. So. You have to wear, like, a, you know, you're sitting there in, like, a little G-string. Like... <laughs> like it's just kind of... I know. wasn't too into that. It was a little bit like, whoa, I'm a really good actor. <laughs> Taylor, are you happy you got to skip the G-string scene? I am very happy, yeah. <laughs> I, had, I had my fair share of G-strings. And it was clips. total granny panties, by the way. It was like full wraparound. It was no, like... It was not. I was wearing a G-string, but they just... They, yeah, they gave, me a, they gave me a big G-string, but it was too small for me. Those right. things are uncomfortable. So, <laughs> it, was really? like, it was like old ham. <laughs> Speaking about flesh, there's another uh, Twitter question. You ready? This one's for you, Rob, I think. Uh, what were your preparations for your shirtless scenes in Breaking Dawn? There's a fair amount of Robert Pattinson on display in this film. <laughs> hey, hey. Um, no M&Ms. Yeah, I didn't eat any candy, and I, I didn't drink any beer for a while. I went kind of nuts. Like, me and Chris went nuts working out because we hadn't, we hadn't worked out for... Uh, <laughs> and, uh, oh, this is so unfair during comparison. What? And everyone says I painted on my abs okay. on that one. I did not. And oh. also, Taylor has his painted on too. Okay, you do. Isn't that rude? That's so rough. unfair having what this comparison. That lasted a long time. You that was up there for a while. Oh, man. You've ruined this for every guy so forever, unfair. Taylor, by what you did to your body. What are you talking about? We all feel inadequate. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks I don't understand this. <laughs> Um, uh, but you're comfortable now, a little bit more comfortable with that stuff, or is it always going to be? Like, I mean, like, after I had it for, like, two weeks, like... Oh, my God. What? No, it was just, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes sarcasm doesn't translate with me. It was me. Oh, no, oh my God, serious. it was gone so fast, it was unbelievable. You couldn't even remember it was there. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, uh, for like two weeks, and then as soon as I didn't have my shirt on anymore, like, just gone immediately. Yeah. In fact, during Brazil, uh, I think it was pretty much, I think, I think the day before I had to do my shirtless scene, I realized that it wasn't as good as Taylor's, so I just ate every single bit of chocolate in the mini bar and just started I disagree. Well. And just started eating cheeseburgers and stuff. <laughs> Let's talk about, okay, uh, one of my favorite sequences in the film is, is the birth scene, which yeah. is like, it's, it's intense, it's graphic, it's emotional, there's a lot going on there. Oh. Um, was that something that was, is it, is it fun to shoot something like that? Is it silly? Is it bizarre? Is it all of the above? Equal parts, but like, yeah. I mean, there were some moments. Yeah, go, sorry. No, no, you go first. I mean, th cause there were some moments which were so incredibly extreme, and there's definitely a version of this movie which is hard R-rated, and ex I mean, uh, possibly even NC-17, <laughs> and like, yeah. and uh, and it, we could have definitely done like that. I mean, we definitely shot a lot of stuff which is unbelievable. We got an. And I mean, I know it's been. I think it's been talked about. We got an R rating for a few things and needed to be turned yeah. down. So right. we are at the cusp. We really did push it. It's so intense. As far as we it's pretty yeah. intense for PG-13. Yeah. But then there were some scenes which were some of the funniest things I've had to do in this entire series. I mean, like crying with laughter. The at baby the most. stuff. Yeah. I mean, we had to cake a real newborn baby in cream cheese and oh. jam. That bit was really sad. It was, that, was, was that wasn't sad. funny at all. No, it wasn't funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, is, is imprinting a funny scene or an intense scene? Is uh, that... Don't even go there. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's intense when you watch it. It's very intense. Yeah. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out, but on the day, it was, it was tough. It was just, I literally had an X on a wall, and I had to look at this X and imprint. Imprint. He had to imprint, so. Right. so uh, that would, makes sense to you, can, right? can you imprint on me right now? <laughs> what what you do? I don't even know how I did it, so I, I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> okay, there's, um, there's so much in this film, and there's a lot to come in Breaking Dawn Part 2. I don't know what we can reveal about. I mean, obviously, those that have read the book, we're going to see 
you as a vampire, and yeah. I think there's a question about that here. Let's take another Twitter question. Any second now, it's coming, it's coming. Twitter. Hey, Twitter. Oh, I'm Kristen and Taylor. My name is Maddie, and I was just wondering what you guys are going to miss most about filming the Twilight Saga. That wasn't on the Breaking Up Part 2. We'll get to that. But yes, this is oh. a big question. What are you, what are you guys going to miss? Oof. Uh. <laughs> um, every time I've had an amazing experience with an actor on any movie I've done, I'm, I'm always thinking as soon as we wrap, I'm just like, when can we do this again? When can we work, work with each other again? And that's usually a more, I don't know, with much much more within reach with other people, not these guys. You know what I mean? Like I, I want to work with them both individually so badly. Um, so I will miss that. Um, and then also just everything, every, everyone that we worked with, like all of our directors and, you know, it, it was a long process and it, it was a family and I, I would like to work with everyone again, basically. I just, it's every, everyone involved. It was such a familiar mood as well, every single movie, even though it was different directors. There was a, Time because, in between. Yeah. You got back and it was... It was like going back to school. Yeah. Where every, the crew, so the crew like, was, you know, similar. Um, in Vancouver, I'll miss Vancouver. I really liked He'll that be back. city. Don't I'm worry, sure. I'm sure. A fair amount of shot there, but there's yeah, you guys got to go to some scenic locales, right? Um, okay, so uh, you guys, as I said, I mean, you guys obviously have gotten to know each other pretty well over the years. I want you to answer me these questions. These are uh, among the three of you. Who is most likely to dot dot dot? You ready? Here we go. Oh, no. This is who, funny. Among the three. Okay. Okay. Among the three of you, uh, uh, of you guys, rather, uh, who's most likely to crack up during a take? It depends on what we're doing. Yeah. It, it totally depends on what type of scene it is. I give it to Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I have like an inability to go forth if something is not right. <laughs> like if something is even close. If I if I find myself lying uh, for one second, I'm just like, mm, nope, wrong. <laughs> like go again. And uh, usually it's not. Uh, directors hate me for it too. It's like, yeah, but that was really good. If you just held it, we could have just you know, not wasted everyone's time. I'm like, sorry, I just no. the integrity of the real is so <laughs> I need to feel everything, um, but I do laugh a lot. I can't, I can't. I'm like, you know, my my BS meter is just a little bit too. Like, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Authentic. She's authentic. Okay. Here's another one. <laughs> Most likely to make an inappropriate joke at the complete wrong time. Rob. <laughs> agree. Even finish a sentence. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. Sometimes. Would you agree with that? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, I'm actually surprised you agree. <laughs> Reluctantly. He For some reason, it got worse and worse as the movies went on. <laughs> yeah, it really did get kind of There ridiculous. was almost one line. I liked, I was watching the trailer the other day, or some clip oh, or something. No. When, I, when This is why the commentaries like the are so good. <laughs> <laughs> it was like when, when you're saying, so I'm late. Oh. And I just thought, I, I, try, I was trying to force Bill into saying, <laughs> for what? Like, don't, it's not At that moment, funny. it's not like, funny, and especially like <laughs> I was right when you. obsessed with it at the time, and like, that's such a bad example. I thought way no, better. No, that's so that, funny. You, you hit it out of the park. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quickly, because time is short. I want to talk to you guys quickly. Things yeah. of the future. Uh, Kristen, Snow White. You're oh. in the middle of that madness right now. Yeah. Is this another franchise? Are you going to do this a couple more times if it works out? Oh <laughs> man, I, you know, to be totally candid and honest with you, when I first like signed on to this thing, the idea of of doing another franchise was like, well, <laughs> cross that bridge when it, I mean, seriously, it was something so far outside of m my realm of thinking. Um, I was so focused on the first one, and I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> it's, I, I'm, I'm, I've got stars in my eyes. I'm yeah. literally like over the moon about what I'm doing right now. So like, I can't imagine that I would say, yes, I would love to. I mean, it's. But speaking of over the moon, you've got to be excited, Taylor. Gus Van Sant, is that, uh, that's happening pretty soon, you think? Um, I mean, look, Gus is uh, an incredible director. I would love to have the opportunity to work with him. Things are very premature right now, but he's, he's amazing. And for you, Rob, two of the three people here have played action heroes in films. What the hell is wrong with you? I mean, she's Snow White. He's kicking ass in abduction. When are you going to kick ass? Is that, is that something on the agenda? Um, I... I guess. I mean, <laughs> you can I kick know. my ass to start yeah, if you want to. Right now. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You got to find a very specific thing. You know, I probably have to, you know, do that like sort of Andy Kaufman stuff. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Man, into gender wrestling. It's hard. To, it's it's weird that we both did that, and especially like it, it, in my mind, it was something that I wanted to do. It was like, yeah, sure. It's, it was a good decision. But I got really lucky because it was something that I was like so moved by. I would never have, 
in my career, awesome timing for an action thing, but I got really lucky. I would never be doing it unless it was like the thing right. that spoke to me. And for you, Rob, there have been some rumored musical roles. Jeff Buckley, American Idiot, do either of those interest you? I don't know you? why they come, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, not, not really, I mean, I, like, I, the Jeff Buckley thing, I just love Jeff Buckley, I love Jeff Buckley's music. <laughs> I mean, it's like, like you're starting in the movie, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, I mean, American, American Idiot, I don't know where that came from. But, uh, I think I Joe just thought you were a good idea, that's all. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that is like, pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, okay. Uh, I'll, 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 I won't put you on the spot there. We'll see if that happens. Uh, Twitter rapid fire. Here we go. We're going to get through as many of these as possible in the last couple minutes. It was pretty let's, rapid anyway. I know. Yeah. Let's run through it. Okay. Uh, best gift, gift you have ever received from a loved one? Anyone oh, want to take God, it? God, that's impossible for a No, I is. can't even answer that. <laughs> Taylor, you got anything? Um, I'm trying to save the day here. Uh, <laughs> and it's just blank. <laughs> you, 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 were to, you were supposed to save the t-shirts, by the oh, way. Oh, no. Yeah. no. <laughs> okay, let's, go. <laughs> let's go to the next one. Um, song, do you th what so song is your favorite out of all the soundtracks so far for Twilight? Oof, that's tough. Heavy yeah. in your arms. I love What's that heavy song? in your arms? Yeah. <laughs> Why did I say that? That's terrible. It's the, it's the Florence and the Machine song. It's oh, machine. I love the Paramore song from the first one. I, I love Paramore. Was that in the first? Yeah, it was the first yeah, one. Wow. That's, I, I, I can't remember what it's called. Decode. Okay, good, good. Okay, let's keep it going. Okay, we'll good. Yeah, past. I'm going to answer that. Uh, <laughs> comfort food after a long day of filming. Hmm. I really like when we were in Squamish, we had McDonald's breakfast every morning. We were doing <laughs> night shoots. That was absolutely incredible. That was, that yeah, was that probably was the reason why I don't have a six pack. I was going to say, <laughs> maybe that's why we're all in envy of this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go to another one. Uh, most played song on your iPod? Just ever changing. It's too much. These questions are too much. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I can say what your one is. Answer for her. <laughs> what? You know what I'm going to say. No, I actually genuinely don't. So whatever, I'm not embarrassed. What is it? Jenny Lewis, right? Jenny Lewis. Well, yeah, totally. One of them, but yeah, yeah, one of them, sure. Like by so go. far. <laughs> what are you I need to stop this. She's going to think that I'm so weird I mean, and obsessed with her. That's why you know that. that. She does come up a lot in conversations. I know, okay, it's next, done. Next one. Uh, if you could jam out to a song, Pumping Fists and All, Jersey Shore style, in your car today, what song would it be? <laughs> Crazy well, Train. Well, with this guy. I mean, I have totally different. <laughs> why am I so into this? <laughs> Crazy Train. No, okay, okay. Next, we're almost done. Um, if you were to be stuck somewhere in the world, no phones, no internet, two weeks, where would it be? Oof. Oh, oh man, if there's no phones, no internet, like just in the whole world, or it just had to be the place? Anywhere. I'd be in LA if there were no phones and no internet. It'd be incredible. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Couple, well, one or two more. go anywhere. One or two more, yes, no, maybe. Is that it? Uh, Renezme, weird name. If you ever had a kid, would you go traditional or crazy name? Crazy hmm. name. I go crazy. <laughs> I go crazy. I don't know about I'm as crazy as that, though. Esmerezme. <laughs> Okay, guys, that, we're going to have to end on that note uh, on the controversy that is Renesmee. We'll get more into that in Breaking Dawn Part 2. Yes. Um, thank you guys so much for being here today. Mm. It's a pleasure to have you guys all together finally at, lo at long last. I know the fans appreciated this. Thank you all so much for your tweets today. Uh, we're going to have all this on MTV.com. You can dissect it at your leisure. Oh, gosh. Uh, yes, yes, it's <laughs> happening. <laughs> Rob, Kristen, Taylor, thank you so much again. Good to Thanks see you guys. Away. MTV, for, MD, yeah, MTV first, <laughs> Rob, um, uh, Breaking Dawn Part 1. You have me tongue-tied. This is so nerve-wracking. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. See you in November 18th, Breaking Dawn Part 1.